Welcome back to GB Guns, and I thought you might have noticed something that might require a little bit of explaining. So, coming up next, why all the cowboy guns? So I'm sure you've noticed that there's been a increase in the amount of cowboy guns on the channel, and we're hoping to keep that going. No, we're not changing formats. These guns aren't replacing uh, wonderful modern beauties like the P99 and MR9, side by side of that coming. But uh, we did a little over 90 handguns last year. And uh, I tell you what, the modern Palmer striker fires, even the modern hammer fired guns, uh, start to get a little old af after a while. And here's the other thought I had, and that is that most of you probably have your defensive gun already. Maybe you're looking for a new one. But uh, we tend to show the less than common thing, and so generally, I'm assuming that you folks are looking for something a little bit different. Now that you have your defensive gun taken care of, or your house gun, and you've learned some basics and things, um, maybe you're looking for something other than that gun that your friend pushed you into. We still have guns for that. Or maybe you've advanced in shooting a little bit, and you're looking for something a little more fun. Uh, that's where I am personally, and so that's why we started experimenting with these beauties. Cowboy guns are still around. Now, if you're like me, these guns might be a wee bit intimidating just in that you really don't have any experience with them, uh, don't know the function, the form, why they're even still made, and think it's only for people who like to dress up, shout silly lines, and have funny nicknames uh, at competitions. That is true. The cowboy action shooting community is large, and uh, these are mostly around because of them. But I wanted to go back and talk about the history a little bit. The 45 Colt, oftentimes uh, referred to as Long Colt, uh, was the original 45 by <laughs> for the Colt round. Um, you're thinking versus 45 ACP. Uh, Came out in 1873, long time ago. Same time as the 1873 single action, which is what all of these guns follow. And that is that the trigger won't do anything unless the hammer is all the way back. They are loaded and unloaded through this little gate. After going to the second click, you can turn the cylinder, unload by pushing this lever, kicks the round out, right, close it, hammer back, then it'll fire. That's all there is to them. Very, very simple. And this round, even though it looks pretty massive, uh, is actually fairly mild thanks to these curves in the handles. What you get is instead of the gun pushing back on you, uh, like with a modern firearm, it kind of rolls up. And you just let your wrist go with it and then come back down on the target. It's a lot of fun. And although this round has been around since 1873, there are more modern versions. This is a Magtech uh, cowboy load, very authentic in uh, the bare lead end to it. One that we use just for affordability is from Freedom Munitions. And it's the same weight, it's a 225 or 230 grain, uh, sorry, this one's a 255 uh, grain bullet that's copper plated. The flat nose keeps them safe in lever guns. Then uh, we just picked up some of this from Fioki. You can see they even put it in the Old West style of uh, coloring on the box. And this is their cowboy load, which you can see the bullet has some type of coating rather than being just bare lead. At least I'm assuming that's what that is. We haven't shot these yet. We'll be giving them a try soon. And then as far as modern stuff, does 45 Colt still have a place? Well, here you go. Hornady Critical Defense in 45 Colt and uh, Winchester PDX-1 Defender in 45 Colt. We're looking at uh, 185 grain in this Critical Defense, 920 feet per second. So, not the most powerful round out there uh, as far as energy delivery, but you can still get loads for them if you want. From Winchester, we're looking at a 225 grain bullet and a velocity of 850. So a little slower, about like 1911 velocity and energy. And then there's some even some super modern stuff. 
uh, the polycase folks that had the ARX angry screwdriver bullet, as I like to call it, even have a 45 Colt load. And these are super lightweight. This is that polymer um, copper blend. These, if I can find it on here, 158 grain, moving at 1,350 feet per second, 640 foot-pounds of energy. That's nearly twice what a 9 mil puts out. And I bet the recoil isn't that bad. We'll be trying these two soon. So that's why you've seen some uh, cowboy guns. They're also great once you start to really learn trigger control uh, to enjoy something like you saw the Cimarron, uh, which has a two pound trigger once the hammer's back. And this one we just got in for review. Yes, it is loaded with snap caps. You can see these little spring-loaded caps. That's just to protect the firing pin uh, when I dry fire it. This is a tuned model by a Taylor & Company uh, of an Uberti, which is what this guy is here. This is just a base model. This one's tuned. Cosmetically very similar, but very different action. Watch the trigger on this. No take-up whatsoever. You put your finger on it and you give it a little bit of pull. Very smooth. So. We'll be playing with that soon as well. And uh, playing, I know, is sometimes a dirty word to use in the gun industry, uh, but these are fun guns. When you've matured and gotten comfortable with your standard defensive guns and basic firearm safety, these are a fun thing to move to. Yes, 45 Colt is a bit more expensive than 9mm. You're looking at uh, typically 35 to 65 cents a round, depending on where you get it. But I tell you what, when you have to load and unload, through this gate by rotating the cylinder and pushing on that on this lever, uh, you shoot a whole lot slower, and it's still a lot of fun. Hope that explains some things. If you got any questions, comments, guns you want to see, let us know as always. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching GB Guns. And if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched, or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.